Good day everyone. Welcome to another math tutorial. Today we're going to practice problems uh, on midpoint formula. So let's start. So for our first problem, if two points Q and C are endpoints of a diameter, what are the coordinates of the center of the circle? So this is a typical midpoint formula problem. So all we need to do is to identify those two points, the two endpoints, and substitute and assign a point or a variable for these two. So this one will be my point 1. That's why it is x sub 1 and y sub 1. This will be our point 2. This is not because that makes it x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now after this, I will write the midpoint formula and substitute all the values that I have. So that is negative 5 and plus positive 5 over 2 and for the y negative 4 plus 14 over 2 and now let's simplify it. We have 0 over 2 and 10 over 2. Let's simplify it further and that is 0 comma negative 5. So the coordinate of r of the center of the circle is 0 comma negative 5. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment whose endpoints are i and a? So that is 4 comma 10 and 8 comma 4. So again, like usual, let's identify point 1 and point 2. So in this case, this will be point 1 and point 2. Now let's write the midpoint formula and substitute all the values that we have. So 4 plus 8 all over 2 and 10 plus 4 all over 2. Let's simplify it. 4 plus 8 is 12 over 2. Then 10 plus 4 is 14 over 2. Simplify it further. Then we have this as our midpoint. That is 6, 7. Which of the following are the coordinate of midpoint M given that the endpoints of the line segments are L and T? So L and T and the midpoint of this is M. So let's compute for the midpoint. Again, let's assign point here. So this will be point 1 and point 2. Actually, you could interchange it. You could make this at point 1 and point 2. There's no problem with that. But we will go on this one. So for that, we have our midpoint formula, then substitute our values, so x sub 1 and, and x sub 2, that is 1, negative 1 and 13. You add them together, then 4 and 8 for y sub 1 and y sub 2. Let's simplify it, so that is negative 1 plus 13 is 12, 4 plus 8 is 12, so 12 over 2 and 12 over 2. Let's simplify it further, we have 6 comma 6. So the midpoint M is 6, 6. For our next example, what are the coordinates of an endpoint if it is given that the coordinates of the midpoint are 2, negative 2, comma, negative 1, and the other endpoint is 4, comma, negative 2? Okay, let's understand and analyze first this problem. So there is a line segment. So the midpoint of this is negative 2, comma, negative 1. And one endpoint is 4, comma, negative 2. Now we are asked to find this, this one endpoint. So what's this? So to do this, we will just again uh, say that 4, comma, negative 2, the one endpoint that is given will be our x sub 1 and y sub 1. This will be our point 1 and our point 2 is unknown. That's why we will use the variable x sub 2 and y sub 2. For our midpoint, we have negative 2 and negative 1. So this will be the variable for our midpoint. So we will be using this for the midpoint formula again. We know that our midpoint is negative 2 comma 1, so this will be our midpoint. This will be the x and this will be the y. Now, let's substitute all the given that we have. We only have x sub 1 and y sub 1. That is 4 plus x sub 2 and negative 2 plus y sub 2. Now, to, add, to, to solve this, we will separate the two 
coordinates and equate it to another two coordinates. So here, we will equate negative 2, the x coordinate, to the x coordinate of the formula. So we will be having this one. So to compute for this, let's multiply 2 on both sides. Cancel this, and 2 times negative 2 will become negative 4. Then let's subtract negative 4 on both sides. Cancel this one. So we have our x sub 2 is equal to negative 8. On the other hand, we have 1, negative 1, is equal to negative 2 plus y sub 2 over 2. Again, same process. Let's multiply both sides by 2 to cancel this out. So we have negative 2 is equal to negative 2 plus y sub 2. Now, to, to eliminate this, let's add 2 on both sides. So cancel this out. So y sub 2 is equivalent to 0. So this will be our midpoint, the, the other endpoint. The other endpoint is negative 8, comma 0. The coordinate of a midpoint and an endpoint are 12, comma negative 5 and 11 and negative 1, comma 11. What is the coordinate of the other endpoint? Okay, so we have this as our midpoint, and this is our 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 one. This is one of the endpoints. So what we're going to do here is to assign variables again. Again, point number two is not given, so that's why we will be having this as blank. So let's use the the midpoint formula. Again, this since this is will be our midpoint we will divide the formula into two. So this one will be equated to 12, and this one will be equated to negative 5. Let's start with the 12 first. Okay, now let's to find x sub 2, let's multiply both sides by 2. Cancel this out. So 2 times 12 is 24. Now let's add 1 to eliminate this one. So cancel this out. So x sub 2 is equivalent to 25. On the other on the other coordinates, the y coordinates, we have negative five is equal to eleven plus y sub two over two. Let's multiply both sides with two again, giving us negative ten is equal to eleven plus y sub two. Now let's subtract eleven on both sides, giving us y sub two is equal to negative twenty one. So the other end point is twenty five comma negative twenty one. Okay, let's go to our final problem for this tutorial. Now, a rectangle has a vertices of negative 3, comma 4, negative 3, comma 4, 2, comma negative 4, and 2, comma 4. So this will be the illustration for this. I'm sorry, I should say it as it is negative 4. Sorry. Now, show that diagonal that its diagonal have the same midpoint. So meaning the diagonal is this one. And this one, connecting this the opposite points. Now we will prove that they share the same midpoint. So let's solve that. Now let's find the midpoint of R T, the segment R T. So that is negative four and negative three comma four and two comma negative four. So let's use the let's assign point one and point two. Let's substitute the given. Simplify it further, then we have the midpoint of neg of negative one half comma zero. Now let's let's use the midpoint formula on the on segment US. That is two comma four and negative three comma four comma negative four. So this will be our point one and our point two. Now let's write the midpoint formula. Substitute the given. and simplify it, that would give us negative 1 half and 0 over 2. And that is negative 1 half comma 0. So the, the diagonal of the, this rectangle share the same midpoint, which is negative 1 half comma 0. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope that you learn answering questions with regards to with using midpoint formula or involving midpoint formula. So see you on the next discussion and bye-bye.